Sealing the record means that the court file and any file created by the police or jail about you and your case is labeled a sealed record. What that means is that no one can access that file unless you give them permission to access the file or they get a court order allowing them to access the file. In order to have your record sealed, you have to file a petition with the court demonstrating that you qualify both as far as time that has passed since your conviction and your offensive conviction is allowed to be sealed. Last, you have to convince the court that your interest in having the record sealed is more important than the government and the public's interest in having access to those records. Expungement implies that a record or a file has been destroyed. Under Ohio law, most circumstances do not allow for the expungement or destruction of a criminal record. You can absolutely have your record sealed if you're acquitted. In fact, you don't have to wait any period of time if you're acquitted to have your record sealed. You can also have your record sealed if your case is dismissed by the prosecutor. The benefits of having your record sealed are as varied as the types of people that want to have their record sealed. Some people just want to have their record sealed to know that that information isn't available to the public anymore because that part of their life is in the past and it's never coming back. Other people want to have their record sealed because they're looking for a promotion or they're going into a new career field. Everybody has their own individual reasons why they want their record sealed, and each of those reasons is its own special benefit. There are a variety of felony convictions that cannot be sealed. Broadly speaking, we're talking about sex offenses, felonies of the first and second degree, and felony crimes of violence. You can find out if your record can be sealed by reviewing information that's available through the Ohio Public Defender's Office, or contacting our office for a free case evaluation. I think Ohio SEAL records laws are complicated in three ways. First, the time period that you have to wait between a conviction and being eligible to be sealed is somewhat complex and it's changing frequently. Second, the particular offenses of conviction that can be sealed can also be complex and require a certain degree of legal analysis. And the General Assembly is always changing and updating what offenses can be sealed and what offenses can't be sealed. Third, you still have to be able to convince a judge, even if the right amount of time has passed and your offense is one that's eligible to be sealed, that you are a person that's in a particular situation that you warrant having your record sealed. Just asking to get your record sealed costs money. And one little mistake in the writing of your petition or the arguments that you make at court not only cause you to lose all of the time that you've invested in trying to get your record sealed, but now you also have to pay the filing fee all over again. Getting it done right the first time is value in and of itself. But maybe more importantly, when you ask to have your record sealed, you're making a request to the court. An experienced prosecutor is going to fight you on that. An experienced prosecutor that appears in that courtroom every single day. You need to have somebody in that courtroom with you that also is in that courtroom every day that also knows the arguments to be made for having your record sealed. And somebody that's in that courtroom that wants to fight for you. Our office has more than 30 years of combined experience sealing criminal records. And I've been personally doing it since I was an intern in the Cleveland Public Defender's Office. Our law firm is different from other firms because we have a regimented process to make sure that you are eligible to have your record sealed and the best arguments are made demonstrating to the judge that it's in your interests and the public's interest to have your record sealed. Maybe even more importantly, if you're not eligible to have your record sealed, 
my office has a variety of approaches that are available that we've used successfully to work around the limitations that are in the seal record statute. So while you may not be eligible under that statute, we have some ways to maybe still get your record sealed.